Off season has officially finally kicked off. Yeah, the last couple of months have been pretty crazy to be honest with you. Just not even, not only with regards to on the field, but off the field as well. I think me kind of getting all this stuff together with the life of the pro vlog and kind of just figuring out exactly what it is I wanted to do has been interesting to say the least. If you've been following for any amount of time, you know that we've done six, well, by the time this comes out, it probably would have been in seven episodes of the Life of the Pro Vlog. And up until this point, I've really just been showing things as it pertains to soccer, mainly because I didn't know how I wanted to share everything and what I wanted to share and how best to kind of bring everything together. The first seven episodes or so were my were my way of trying to kind of figure that out, kind of bridging the gap. A lot of people find out about me about professional soccer. A lot of people uh, follow me uh, because of all the things I'm doing outside of it. But most people don't get to see kind of like the day to day or the ongoing going things that I'm working on like constantly in the background and I thought the vlog is a really gives me a really great opportunity and um, ability to showcase everything so now that the off season is here there's not necessarily as much traveling with the team and those types of things so it's gonna give me a, a greater opportunity to show you the things that I work on when I'm not at soccer. So many things and a lot of things I've been working on for in the background for years and years and years. Some of you have maybe followed along a little bit with my blog. I never figured out a really cool way to bring it all together until now. That's kind of what this vlog is going to transition to, especially over the off season. There will be some soccer stuff involved in what I'll be sharing, mainly because I have my soccer training equipment brand, Perfect Soccer, and I'll be highlighting kind of really diving into that now that I have more free time to kind of dedicate to expanding and growing that business out. It's going to be just better for me to show you than to say it. I am off to a podcast interview meeting with Osbaldo Luciero. He uh, reached out to me, I think a couple weeks back through Instagram. He has a Quakes audio podcast that he does, and we're gonna sit down and have an interview. I will start recording and documenting these meetings and interviews and other things that I do that I, I do regularly. I actually spend way more time doing this than I do anything else. I just haven't shown any of it. That's what I'm gonna start doing. Leave comments below and let me know things that you like, questions that you have, and then on top of that, you can always check description below for links for entire interviews and all that kind of stuff. So, let's do it. So I just had my first son about two months ago and I was thinking like when he's 15 years old or 12 years old or 20 can go back and watch video or listen to audio or podcasts of me talking about where I was at at his point in time in life what I was thinking about and why I made the decisions that I made and he can see where I got to he can have the foresight to then make a decision or choose a different path if that's what he wants to do or if there's something he actually wants to achieve he knows that I'm giving him the most honest, brutally honest and information yeah. necessary. Like my biggest thing with now starting this blog, people can see the results, right? They can see me playing on the professional soccer field. They can see me coming back from an injury. They can see, uh, you know, the businesses I'm running, but they don't see what goes into making that happen. The constant failure, the hours and hours up, you know, figuring out your programs and finding the right Dude, mind and doing yeah, research. Yeah. And, yeah there's hundreds of hours that goes into that 30 minute show you know so so 30 minutes of your show or episode or an hour of your episode could have literally been a hundred hours a thousand hours of work put into yeah. it so if I can show you the work then you have to be honest with yourself when you're saying oh I want that I'll say okay do you want that because if you want that that means you also want this thousand hours of work and a lot of people when they see the thousand hours of work then they have to ask themselves an honest question and most of the time it's, oh, I actually don't want that, right? Yeah. And then, yeah, so I feel Dude. it's, that's really what I want to do. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I want to create these things because those who do want it, those who look at that thousand hours of work and go, yeah, I'm going to do that and then twice as much because I'm going to do it better than that. Yeah, do exactly. Yeah. Those, Dude. Yeah, those are the ones that I'm doing it for and who I want to do it for and why I'm, why I'm willing to spend the thousands of hours to create this type of content to make that happen. So and I'm glad understand. you're saying that because you gotta put the effort and find your voice. What to, yep. you know, be consistent uh, again. And, and I, I don't want to, you know, I and just, I just, I keep, keep. I don't want to yell. At no, them. I understand just what you're saying because that's where I was at. I kept talking, kept talking, kept talking. You're making the podcast because you want to make the podcast because you want to tell a story, right? Because yeah. you want to do something. Whether one person's listening, your niece, or a million people are listening, you're still gonna do it. 
right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. The other people are going, I only want to do it because I think a million people are going to listen. Well, when only two people are listening and you've been doing it for a year, right? What motivation are you going to have to continue doing it? Yeah. So you better fall in love with the process. You better fall in love with what it is that you're doing and the process of creation because that might be the extent that you're ever going to get. You might not quote unquote find success right you might not make a million dollars yeah you might only make enough to keep the lights on but is keeping the lights on worth doing what you love to do for a living I don't know yeah. that's for you yeah, to decide exactly. right for me yeah for you maybe no you know and then that's where you that's where we talked about earlier self-honesty where then you assess you go okay do I love this as much as I thought I do the answer is yes okay is it worth me still continuing to do it yes okay keep doing it the yeah. answer is no then find something else yeah. so just wrapped up that interview and podcast with Oswald I keep saying his name wrong it went really good uh, we talked about a whole bunch of stuff podcast ended up going like over an hour and a half he'll be publishing that in a few weeks it'll probably be up by the time I publish this episode it's good energy really good energy I think we're gonna end up doing something more regularly here in the future as well too so look out for that podcast late night business Take meeting Yes. Uh, we making some money. I don't want candy. <laughs> trying to sell money. them candy and stuff. We've got a family business meeting. Family. Oh, hey, Bree. Oh, oh, there's Bree. Oh, oh, oh. Running too. Money's over here. <laughs>
but it's for yourself. What is social media and what it means for us and people in It's general. sharing your life experiences okay, with others. But more than anything it else. might be a little narcissistic to Thank share you. your face. That's all I wanted. That's okay. it. That's all it I was saying. It might be just a little bit. A lot. But sometimes, Not a you know. Bit. A lot. You are doing it for yourself, for admiration, or to humble brag, or whatever. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying, be honest. Yeah, I think with that's why completely okay. You're, I don't say there's anything wrong with it. I, I'm saying the only thing wrong is if you're lying to, to yourself, yourself about why you're doing it. Okay. That's so, it. And okay. that's my whole point. No one's ever <laughs> thinking about it. And that's why I'm going like, okay, think about what you're doing so why, you, why you're doing it. Why are you going over the speed limit? I know. I'm going over the You're getting fast. a little too excited. <laughs> so you're sharing it for your own selfish, vain reasons. Yes. Okay. That's fine. I'm not saying that okay. I haven't done it or I don't do it. I'm saying when I do, I know why I'm doing it. And I'm asking people and you... To ask themselves. Why you do... Why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? You, why are you taking these selfies? And be honest with yourself. And Okay, okay. Even This is good. You can apply this to everything. Why are you doing what you're doing? And is it helping you achieve the goals that you're set, you've set for yourself? Or helping you accomplish the things that you say you want to accomplish or you want to achieve or a level of success that you want to get to. This is the selfie we're talking about here. Yeah, show I'm showing it. it. This is going to turn into like a huge segment of the vlog. <laughs> yeah. But this, this needs six minutes. It's my vlog. It's Quincy time. It's my time. It's my show. I do what I want. Yeah, the back left. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's my mom. Oh, oh my mom. Look at I love the blue. It's so like vibrant. Yeah, yeah. very vibrant. So, oh, I mean. so family dinner night. What? We like to like mix business and fun. Oh, does it? Oh. Oh, I thought it was a business dinner. <laughs> <laughs>